everyone, this is Mary and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, hi, I'm a youth counselor on board and I make videos about living and working on a cruise ship. If you haven't subscribed yet, show me some love by doing so. Also, click that notification bell beside so you won't miss any of my future videos. For today's episode, we're gonna talk about the basic requirements of a youth staff on a cruise ship. Before that, if you want to learn about the different departments on a cruise ship and to better understand the youth staff position, you might want to watch my previous video about that. So the main responsibility of a youth staff is to provide the safety and security of all young guests on board as well as making sure that cruise line regulations are followed. We provide fun-filled and age-appropriate activities for children between 3 to 17 years old, also ensuring all our young guests will have the most exciting, fun, and memorable cruising experience on the sea. Sounds exciting, right? Well, let's talk about the basic qualification for this job. Education. Most cruise lines require you to have a degree for this position. You'll be dealing with kids, preferably a degree in teaching, in recreation, special needs, nursing, psychology, even tourism. It really depends on your working experience. Some manning agency could be very strict and requires you to have a teaching experience, though you have enough working experience. The next one is working experience. Having a degree in this position is not enough. Most of the cruise lines that hires youth staff requires you at least to have two or more years of working experience. It should be working experience with a large number of kids, preferably ages 3 to 17 years. This would mean that one-on-one -on -one teaching or online tutorials or at home is not sufficient. Now, it is not necessarily to have a teaching background. The most important is you can control and manage a group of kids and also provide instructions because you'll be dealing with um, activity-based program. Well, chances of employment are very high if you have previous experience with hotel kids club. Examples are Jamboree in Sofitel, Philippine Plaza, DreamWorks in City of Dreams, or experience working in Kidzoa, if you are familiar with that. Also, previous experience in YMCA or working on a booth camp are good examples. If you want to learn more about those I've mentioned, Informations are available online. You should also know that background check for this position is very strict, so you should have an excellent record in your previous job, considering that you'll be working with kids with different nationalities. The next in line is language skills. English is the international language, and this is the language we use on board. You should be able to read, write, speak, and understand in this language, especially when you want to work on this job. Well, you don't have to be really excellent in this language, but it is necessary because aside from kids, you'll be dealing with parents half of the time. You need to share to the parents the performance of their kids, any activities that you have done, or report any misbehavior, if applicable. Additionally, public speaking is also one of the skills needed in this job. Every youth staff must be able to experience this because family event is also included in the program. So you should be able to speak confidently on a microphone. Sometimes you'll be speaking in front of families of 10 people or less in a low season, while on the other hand, it could grow more to hundreds, three hundreds, or even thousands in a high season, depending on your ship. Additional language skills is also preferable because not all guests on board use English language as their first language. Sometimes, you could have a guest with Spanish nationalities, Brazilian, or even French. So, learning their language establish more connection to them, and it could make your life easier if you know at least one or more language. Moving on, 
Having an excellent customer service is a must. Working in a hospitality environment requires you to have an excellent customer service at all times. You need to be able not just to satisfy their needs, but also going beyond that as long as cruise line regulations are followed. You need to be able to provide the kids the best cruising experience on the sea and be able to resolve any conflicts occurred. Moving on, we have personality. Your personality is very important in this job. Remember, kids can recognize it. So just be true to yourself and never fake it. Again, you'll be dealing with kids with different nationalities, age group, and behaviors. So your patience will be very necessary. Please understand that this job is not for everyone. If you do not have patience, you could easily be fed up. And remember that kids are guests too. So showing any signs of anger is strictly prohibited for your staff position. Worst case scenario, you could have a warning if the kids complain by doing so or even lose your job. So better find a way to engage with them smoothly. This means to have an engagement personality is an edge. It also needs you to be flexible. Remember, you'll be working with a team of different nationalities. Sometimes working with a youth staff could be very challenging. Second to the last on our list, as a youth staff, you need to have that energy and passion. Dealing with kids could be very exhausting. On the ship, you'll be working from the day you get on until the last day of your contract. You're only entitled for hours off, but never to have a day off. And depends on your shift or schedule, complementary hours generally start at 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. However, sometimes, You'll be working as early as 7 a.m. if there's a reservation for that for parents who need to be ashore for excursion and tours and as late as 1 a.m. for those parents who's making the most of their cruise. You know, those parents enjoying their martini or vodka while watching their adult late night show, if you know what I mean. Aside from that, after every session, when the kids left the facility as a youth staff we also need to clean and sanitize the area so for this job it really requires you to have that extraordinary energy and passion in order for you to stay and last in this job and lastly as a youth staff it is an edge if you have that special talent please remember that youth staff is on their entertainment department this job is to provide entertainment for kids so knowing where you're good at is very important you might be good at arts like face or body painting you may be good at dancing singing or playing different musical instruments so i know a youth staff who's good at doing magic tricks and lastly public speaking and knowing different language is also a talent so that counts. Knowing where you're good at is very important to shine in this job and kids will love you for that. So at first, you may think that being a youth staff is as easy as what other crew members think on the ship. Good life? It is not actually. It is a very crucial job. Though we provide entertainment to the kids, you also need to ensure their safety at all times. But once you get the hang of it, You'll be fine and promise you're gonna love this job. So now you know the basic qualifications to be a youth staff and you think you are qualified, do not hesitate to try this job. Once you're accepted, additional requirements and trainings will be asked by your mining agencies like first aid and a couple of basic safety trainings. So that's it. If you find this video helpful, please like and comment down below. Let me know we're good at entertaining kids and also if you haven't subscribed yet please do so and hit that notification bell beside so you won't miss any of my future videos i'm planning to make more videos like this about youth stuff as always thank you guys for watching see you soon